What kind of music do you play? Death metal. Smoke some bitch! Man, that shit smell good as hell, dog. I'm What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to a before the boom bullpen live. Uh, I'm gonna be working on some stuff here before the show, just to you know, loosen up, get ready for uh, Frag of June tonight. Uh, make sure that you have put your suggestions in. Uh, and at Pink Bunny says so. Yo, King Leak, what's up? Welcome, Flying Feline Skull. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you guys for coming to hang out. Uh, I have uh, I've put the format for uh, Frag of June down in the description. Um, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. If you if you copy the uh, the join me with Frag of June and down to uh, where my suggestion I suggested Death Dealer today. So uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, he'll pick mine uh, because I really want to draw Death Dealer and. Uh, I would really like to have a Fraga original uh, of Death Dealer. But mostly, I'd, I'd really like to draw Death, Lear, Death Dealer today. I think that'd be cool. Um, so yeah, uh, I sent the link out to a few of my other friends, so uh, we'll see We'll see who comes to uh, to hang out and draw with us tonight. How is everybody this evening? Ale! Metal Movies and Brewskies, what's up, brother? Good to see you. Ain't seen you in a while, Matt. How you been? So let's see. I figure I will probably uh, go ahead and work on my Leia cover that I have been working on. Just and of course the uh, the camera is completely out of whack. But you know that's why I do this so I can get uh, get prepared for uh, the stream. So it needs to come up this way. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes these arms are a little uh, interesting to uh, to get uh, situated. It's always a very uh, <laughs> always a very interesting thing trying to sm not smack myself in the head uh, with the uh, with the um, arm as well. Always a very interesting prospect. Scintillating content, I know, I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Um, but, uh, unfortunately, I need to do it. Yes, Kingly, Jubblies. Space Jubblies, to be perfectly uh, exact. You know, Space Jubblies are, are wonderful. The Jubblies in general, but... Uh, Metal Movies and Brucey says he's... Oh, yep, that's totally not what I wanted you to do. Uh, yeah, no, that's great. Wow. Mm. Anyway, uh, Metal Movies and Brucey says he is just coloring like a mug. Well, that's awesome. All right, well, that's... We're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with that. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, this is a, uh, a sketch cover I've had for a while, and uh, started drawing something on it the other day, and I think I need to finish the pencils so I can go ahead and ink it. Yeah. Get the big old cinnamon buns here on the uh, on the la the layer buns. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure that I've ever actually drawn Princess Leia before today. Or before this this cover. Maybe. But not that I can think of off the top of my head. Oh, uh, let me go ahead and... That's awesome, Sai. Thank you for giving us an update. 
I am very happy to hear that. Making uh, making good progress. <laughs> Vertigo. Yes, uh, not not necessarily what I was meaning to do, but yes, I can see how that would uh, definitely give some of the vertigo. Uh, it's still not where I want it either. But it's, you know, it's not horrible. It's not great either, but it's not horrible. Let's see. I feel like I need like a wrench or something to like really crank this thing down and keep it where it needs to be. Nope. <laughs> wow, this thing is terrible. Literally need something to hold this arm right where it's at, and this is I'm not doing it. Okay, testing, there we go. That's what I get for fucking around with things, huh? <laughs> Let's see if I can do this again without screwing it up this time. This is just awful. Sorry, everybody. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, cool. Now it's out of my face and I can actually, uh, you know, see. <laughs> really? Yes, really. What's up, Pops? Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming to hang out. Quiet, you. I'm just glad that I'm getting this done on, on, you know, here and now rather than, oh, yeah, you know, wasting my drawing time on, uh, on Frag of June tonight. Especially if we do the Death Dealer. Yo, Shadowhawk, what is up? Thanks for coming to hang out, man. I will be sending out your Moon Knight tomorrow, good sir. And uh, you'll have to you'll have to send me a picture of where it uh, ends up getting put on your wall, man. I am excited, uh, and thank you again. Appreciate you picking that up. Break, break. So how is everybody on this uh, on this Monday? even in everybody having a, a good Monday I have been spending the last uh, hour or so looking for a refrigerator online and I finally found one that would fit in the alcove of my refrigerator and unfortunately it seems to be sold out everywhere like, literally sold out everywhere I try to buy it. It's great. It's definitely very, very helpful. Thankfully, my freezer is kind of like a refrigerator, and I can sort of keep things in there. I mean, they don't last. They're, they're not frozen, but, you know, something resembling... So yeah, I've been uh, I've been living out of cabinets and sort of freezer food. Awesome. Yeah, you're you'll be on your new computer on on Wednesday. <coughs> it's uh, the the cables. Yeah. Unfortunately, the uh, the VGA is not uh, not the output for for most machines these days.
I actually have a bunch of stuff to send out tomorrow. I got stuff to send to Neff and Frequency Girl. I got stuff to send to Shadowhawk. And I got stuff to send to Mogwai Centurion. And I got something to send out to Fraga. And I got something to send out to Will. So we'll be, be shipping like a fool tomorrow. <clears throat> I'm just kind of designing uh, her costume as I go along. Not... Uh, 100% sure what I'm doing with her yet. Hmm. Ooh. Actually, yeah. I just had an idea. I need to have some music, especially when it's just me sitting here. So, let's see. What? What could I play? Oh, you know what? Let me see if I can find them. Um... Music I can get away with playing. Uh, don't have it on my computer, so <laughs> just have to deal with it playing on my uh, on my phone. Hopefully, it doesn't sound terrible. But yeah, we'll. I'll have more uh, more stuff set up for you know uh, these streams as well. I want to do more of these bullpen streams and. Uh, you know, have other artists on. We'll be going till uh, probably about nine when uh, when Fraga kicks up, uh, Fraga June. Um, oh, like a putz, I totally forgot to uh, put the link in the SOBs room. Good. Should probably have like uh, probably have the. Uh, the dudes come hang out, right? Okay, there it is. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, back to the drawing. Back to the drawing, the important part.
Again, just designing this costume kind of on the fly. Not really. Don't really have a design philosophy for it, other than uh, I have just decided to make her a Sith. Uh, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be dark, dark and scary, or maybe just dark. What's up, Mike? How you doing, brother? No, man, I haven't heard that. Not, uh, not familiar. Not familiar with that. I'll have to check it out, though. I'm always looking for new metal, man. You know me. Always looking for more, you know, more stuff to listen to. If I groove to it, I groove to it. See if this design works. You know, one of the things that always, uh, whenever I'm drawing, that always bugs the shit out of me is like I'm drawing, I'm designing something, and uh, tangents. You know, you got to avoid tangents because tangents will will fucking absolutely ruin, you know, uh, eye flow on a piece. You know, at least at least for me, if I notice a tangent in something that I'm reading, I'm just ah, I can't. I can't not see the damn thing now. So if I'm drawing and I have a tangent in something that I'm working on, it it will it will drive me nuts. I have a, I have a specialized tool for this. Where is where is the, the specialized tool? And no, I am not a specialized tool. I can hear you all laughing now. Rick Sailor, what's up, brother? Good to see you. Thank you for coming to hang out. So, oh, right here in front of me, if it was a snake, it probably would have bit me. So, has everybody gotten their, uh, their requests in for Frega June this uh, evening? At the gates. Nice. <laughs> I haven't listened to any At the Gates in a while. I wish I could find some way to like get a uh, I don't know like a license to use like some of my my favorite heavy shit like in show 
I mean, I've thought about reaching out to some of uh, some of my favorite artists, you know, to use like one of my favorite songs by them. But I mean, it's it's probably just astronomical. I mean, it'd be amazing. What is up, Joe? Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming to hang out, dude. I, uh, I tossed the link around if you're just kicking it and you want to hang out and draw. You know. Feel free to jump in. I'm just jamming out, you know, to, <laughs> to music that I can get away with. So I, I apologize if uh, it repeats, you know, in a little bit. But, we'll roll through it. Terrible about taking the comments down. What's up, some person? Thank you for coming to hang out. That's fucking awesome, dude. Send me a link. I will add it to this playlist. This is uh, this is some music that I uh, that I actually I, I purchased uh, specifically to use for the channel. So uh, yeah, man. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate that, man. That is mighty cool of you. Mm. 
gonna break. I am, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sold on this shit right here. I'm liking this, and I'm liking this, but I'm not, I mean, I'm liking this, too. Aw, oh, shit. Y'all recognize this one? Should actually throw the. Uh, I should actually throw the uh, the version with the uh, the lyrics on here. Shit, I thought that was on this list. Anyway, this is uh, this is the backing track I used to uh, make "Roll the Bones" for our boy Matt uh, for his first Butch Cleaver campaign. Uh, Rotten Glory did the uh, did the lyrics. He wrote the lyrics, and uh, I I performed them. Uh, found found the music and threw it together. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't sold on this. This is this is not giving the effect that I thought it would. The song actually keeps going on. I just use a section of it. So that was fun. I miss I miss Rot. Wherever he's at, whatever whatever he's doing, I hope he's doing well. And if you on some off chance happen to see this man, I miss the hell out of you. I wish he'd wish he'd come back and hang out. Sent Joe that, uh, yeah, I miss Rot. Yep. <laughs> 1960s NASA. <laughs> yeah, it's not surprising. That's not surprising. Uh, what's up, Wolfo? Good to see you, man. Hey, thanks, dude. I was, uh, at my condo, so I was kind of trying to keep it down a little bit, so as not to, uh, you know, disturb the neighbors too much, you know. 
but uh, hmm. I wonder, and I have uh, I have I have an idea uh, that I want to test out. Let's see, and you know whatever if it uh, if, they, if this one gets pinged, it gets pinged. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, you guys, you you guys ready for the uh, the the full the full uh, brunt of my music? This is. I'm just gonna let it play. Well, we'll see. We'll see what plays. To, uh, uh, for songs to sing when I'm doing, uh, the sing along and doing when I'm listening to my whole playlist. Oh, shit! It's a Matt Bar! What's up, Yo, bro? what's going on, dog? Yeah, not a whole lot, man. Just hanging out, drawing, listening to some tunes. I hear that? What do you listen to? Uh, this is some No Effects. I believe this is off of Punk and Drub Like. Chugga, 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 chugga. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Yeah, yeah, that was off of Punk and Drub Look. And uh, now this is. Meshuga. 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 Yeah, this is. Uh, like Meshugana? Like Meshugana. Uh, yeah. It's a. Uh, they call it a math metal band. It's uh, very technical. Yeah. And, like, I don't know. Uh, I know I'm, I'm aware of, uh, of math rock. Yeah, well, yeah, but just amp that up in heaviness, then you get your sugar. So, how was your right. Father's Day, man? It was good, dude. Just kind of hung out. Excellent. Yeah. I am, I am glad to hear that. How about you, man? Are you a dad? You're not a dad, are you? No, no. Uh, is your dad still with us? Are you able to? No, I can't. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, so my my mom. What a touchy died. fucking holiday it could be, you know? <laughs> oh yeah, totally. Uh, my uh, my mom's dad died in 2016. My dad died in 2017, and then his dad died in 2018. So I have uh, I have literally no no male uh, relatives. Uh, to to speak of on Father's Day. Oh man. Yeah. But you know it's it's all good. I was uh, just. They they are a line of your forefathers, and they are watching you. Well, if I'm not, trying to be a badass, man. You know. If they're not fucking getting getting trash in Valhalla, they're they're watching you on a big screen TV. <laughs> Hopefully not all the time. No, all the time. There's like a little siren that like, oh, he's about to touch himself. They're like, all right, turn, change, change <laughs> turn the channel. Up, have, change yeah, the channel. <laughs> we got better shit to do now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait. What? We might just leave this off for, uh, you know, a few uh, Carmen Electra's uh, going to the bathroom? Okay, switch to that. Switch to that channel. 
Exactly. I don't know why I'm trying to think. I don't know why I thought of Carmen Electra. I was trying to think of like universal hotness, you know. Oh yeah, well I mean for for a while there, man, she was like she was uh, she was she was the it girl. Yeah. You know? Like she was she was on the MTVs, man. You know. Dude, you know who I saw the other day, and it was like, holy shit, I forgot all about her, Anna Nicole Smith. That's right. Poor thing. Yeah, dude. Really, really unfortunate. But mm, there's no but to uh, the unfortunateness. But but it's yeah. like, holy no, it's, shit, it's, she was it's... fucking hot. That's. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Billy. What's up, brother? Welcome. Billy. Hello. How you doing, homie? I wasn't sure if, uh, I didn't see anybody no, respond to your thing, so I wasn't sure if anybody had actually hopped in. What's up, fellas? What's, What's up, man? What's up, Lou? Hey. Just, uh, What's up, man? Oh, shit. Look at that. Um, just warming up the old wrist before hopefully, yeah. uh, oh, yeah. hopefully drawing some robots, but we'll, we'll see what he picks. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to draw Death Dealer. I want to draw Death Dealer tonight. Well, he Who's picked the Landstorm. You back Who's me up. De- Who's Death Dealer? Oh, uh, Fr- Frank Frazetta's Death Dealer, man. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. Have you ever seen the cover to, God, what is it? Uh, a Molly Hatchet cover? Uh, Pedro, help me out here. What, uh, What's up? what Molly Hatchet what up, album was it that had Dude, all of the Death Molly Hatchets. Well, I know they all had Frazetta work on it, but some of yeah. them, one of them had like that running four or something like that. What was the one that had Death Dealer on the horse? Like Death Dealer was it one? He's like shit, dude. I don't know. Is he a robot? On the spot. I don't know. No, no, he's yeah, not a robot. No. He's like a bringer of death. He's like on this fucking insane, evil-looking horse on a hill yeah. with like vultures and crows and shit. Yeah. Yo, dude. Like growing up, like we had a den downstairs, and the den on the walls had artwork, framed artwork. You know what those were? Fucking Frank Frazetta paintings. Like, oh, my, yeah, like my were. dad is a huge hmm. Molly Hatchet fan. So he just had like the fucking like the death dealer was down there, the fucking oh, polar bear with the Viking be- like if it was a Molly Hatchet cover, like he had like the poster, but he would like frame them, dude. It was it was funny. Wow. Dude, that's, have, dude, that's that's a dope influence to have. I have uh, Your dad sounds pretty interview. cool. Yeah, he's <laughs> badass. Um but yeah. Uh, I have uh, Conan versus the Frost Giant on the wall of my hallway, mm. uh, and I rescued mm. it from the basement of a frat house in New Hampshire. It was just Whoa. sitting down there, you know, and this is just like a musty, you know, New Hampshire basement. And I'm like, uh, so who's, who shit is this? And can I share, like, can oh, I share my stuff? left there. So it's just like, it's it's mine now. It's I'm moving it to my stuff. Mine. 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 I got an original uh, Star Wars uh, poster as well. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Have you guys ever seen this right here? Dude, nice. No, I don't think I have. This is the Conan Barbarian, the official Marvel Comics adaption of the movie. Oh, and it's shit. done oh. by um, S- Steve Bushima. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. Yeah, or, I'm sorry, not Steve, but John. John Bushima. Dude, that's dope that it's in, like, little, like, I like the, the form factor that it's in. It's neat. Yeah, they, like, spread it out over, but yeah, it's, like, two panels page. Dude, it's like a manga. <laughs> it's trippy. In the way it's presented, yeah. Isn't that wild? That's awesome. That cover's great. Ooh, yeah. That's hot. Yeah. Just sharing. Just um, sharing. Cool, well, you sh- can you share my screen really quick, Luke? I, I wanted uh, Will to see something. Just for a second. For sure, man. That's, oh, this, what, this what, kind of, no. out, man. what kind of away. piece of shit project are you working on? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably awful. It's written by a hack. Yeah. What kind of fuck noise is this? This is this is death dealer, really. Are you oh, recovering dude. that? Oh, okay, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. This dude. And dude, uh, do you remember Wait, Glenn Danzig re- bringing out a fucking death dealer comic book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Erotic, uh, 
page three. Yep. Dude, I love the Death Dealer comic book and the I, Jaguar God comic book yeah. was fucking the tits, dude. It was so <laughs> yeah. fucking dope. They were they were not easy to find, but yeah. Yeah, they were they were fucking dope. Yeah, I got them somewhere. No uh, what are you working on, Billy? Are you doing that again, th- those two pages? No, I'm on three. I just oh, zoomed yeah. it way. Oh, I just zoomed that, it way in so that I oh, it's that panel where they're much. where they're coming at them, right? Yeah, the the bag just hit his face. Yes. Okay. I was like, that's is that one of the parts where the they're down there at the at the plaza of the temple? They said, yeah. no, that's the part where they she tosses it and they come at the pirates, right? Right. Oh, okay. Thank you, Billy. That's so nice of you. Yeah, but we're, we're getting inside information here. He's coloring yeah. Black Flag, uh, written by a hack writer. Um, but a primo. We'll uh, find him. He'll be. He'll be. He'll be primo solid. hack. Primo hack writer. Yeah. Primo hack writer. Well, if it's going to be written by a hack. It might as well be a primo hack. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Pedro knows everybody from South America is just trying to take you for something. Yeah. <laughs> There's always that catch. You know, this little diversion here. Where's your wallet? Exactly. You know what's weird is I. You talk about how elusive Weldon is. Uh, I just on my Twitter feed this morning like a new comic book that he apparently drew with fucking Ben Dunn from Antarctic Press. The only one? Like, that one? Yeah, like, and I was just like, I'm a huge Ben Dunn fan. Like, I was, like, I read all those original Ninja High Schools when I was in high school. And, uh, the fact that he's, like, that Weldon's doing a Ninja book with Ben Dunn, I was like, holy shit. What the fuck? Where did the, like, where out of left field did this come from? Yeah, I can't find the dude. I mean, I want to, like, <laughs> I want to. We want to hire him for well, this stuff. Looks but... like, and his ninja work looks dope. I was like, nice. Like, that's pretty cool, man. I mean, like, I'm, I consider myself lucky. He did the ones you're doing. Yeah, well, I mean, he see it's he seems very elusive to everybody because like I talked to Matt Fowler that he drew Psycho sixty six with, and uh-huh. mm. he said it was kind of the same thing. He was like, yep, he came in, he did, he drew the comic book, and, <laughs> and bounced. bounced out. Yeah, just, yeah. He was he was extremely professional. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. He, it just he was just like. Like talking to uh, Mist, you know what I mean? <laughs> Mist that just brings you pages on time. You know, <laughs> it's like what, it's like, like how are you? He's like a little comic gnome. Like you <laughs> yeah. get out some fucking cookies <laughs> and some milk. And you, yeah. yeah, you show up in the morning and there, there there's pages on the floor. You know, and the cookies, the cookies are, all are gone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, exactly. oh, look, this what? is not really comics related, but my brother just came out with a punk album. Yeah. Oh, what? right here. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah, man. Is it in Spanish? Yeah, it's in Spanish. I did the cover and uh, all oh, the that's jacket your cover art. Fuck yeah, yeah. Uh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, dude, and uh, nice. Sick. It's it's so, yeah. Malin, huh? So, yeah. yeah. No, they, my my brother my my brother is called my, well Ismael, and they it's like the nickname is Milo, so. He turned it into Mylene. He Mylene. doesn't know who Mylene is. Yeah, he doesn't know who Mylene is. I do, <laughs> but he doesn't. He's like, "Who's the bitch of Mylene? You know, say quién es." Yeah, quién carajo es Mylene? It's like Colonel. So, yeah. So it's basically a mix. It's a, if you listen to Dead Kennedys, a little bit heavier. Right. That's kind of what what he, he aimed for, dude. And the the, the record is awesome, Big but it, he is he's doing like the the whole. He did it physically first, but he's coming up with the with the digital form like for download. When it's ready, I'll let you guys know so you can check it out. Um, Pedro, Excellent. solamente quiero decirte algo, una cosa. Dímelo. Badgers? Badgers? We don't uh-huh. need no stinking badgers. Badgers? <laughs> badgers? No. We don't need no stinking badgers. So, no. um... Badgers, 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 badgers. Oh, so, uh, will that that whole area that they're actually on in page three? Yes, should all be made out of that same stone work that is that they're swinging over on page one and two, right? Yeah, it's it's the same building. It's the same same building. It's it's like it's before they go into the temple, yeah. right? There should okay. be some kind of ethereal glow back there because they're going into the temple, you know, and on that final panel where they're running. Yeah, because that's that's where they're right, right, just to right. kind of show that's where they're they're if they're going to be backlit. It's going to be from that blue kind of whatever you want to do with it. Gotcha. See, Wolverine knew my UHF reference. 
UHF. Gotcha. Man, I have only seen that movie once, and I do not remember yeah, a lot of it. He gets the fire hose! <laughs> I remember some of that shit. Do I get a mop? <laughs> We've <laughs> never been a part. Yeah, Ooh, dude. Red Snapper! That's because uh, you're so stupid! Dude, I, I, I saw UFF in Spanish. <laughs> oh, so you, he, well, it's probably the same thing at Badgers. Badgers? No, it's the Timbo's pinch at Badgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but he didn't say Snapper. It was like, oh, te ganaste un guachinango. I don't know. When I, hear the, that movie. when I hear the word Snapper, I think of something else. Yeah, my joke. Yeah. Well, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> How did uh, George Carlin define it? You know, uh, you know, this elasticity in the vaginal walls that grabs a hold of you and gives you a decent hump. Yeah, exactly. There you go. I never saw one that could cut grass. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a lot of snappers in my day. Never saw one that could cut grass. Oh, dude. <laughs> Maybe a little edging, but. <laughs> Jeez, Will. <laughs> I can't. I cannot imagine Carlin trying to to do his thing today. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, you never know because so many comedians buckled these days. It's not even comedy anymore. Oh yeah, dude. This so is... I don't know you because there's a lot of comedians around now that's straight buckled. You know, uh, I feel. I feel like we're getting a snapback, man. I'm yeah. Starting to feel it. Yeah, yeah, but, but yeah, so many have so. sold themselves out as hacks that mm -hmm. yeah, there's there's gonna be there's gonna be no comeback for for some of them. I mean, there's it, some shit like who's the one dude uh, C K Lewis who was Lewis like, C K. Yeah. 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 yeah, I was I was on the phone. And I was just like beating my meat to chicks on the phone who didn't want it. <sighs> like that's fucking weird. Yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, but like but... Chris Delaney, mm -hmm. who fucking honestly didn't do anything wrong. Not even he with fucking. Yeah, he fucking didn't do anything that any rock star hasn't fucking done in their career. You know what I mean? Like, yo, he showed up, was like, hey, I'm a fucking celebrity. I'm a comedian who wants to smash. And he would smash. Well, yeah. and, you know, and, and they and, were all like over, they were all of age. You know what I mean? So it's like, it ain't his fault. Age and consenting. That's exactly. Well, dude. Yeah, that's if you're that. like 21, well, dude, 22, yo, I mean, he's going to smash you. Dude, and it's and, like, well, it's I mean, I'll fucking... even defend Louis C.K. in that one because. Even the way the girls describe that one, they're like, and then he asked me if it was okay if he masturbated while I was on the phone. And it's like, well, what did you say? It's like, I said, yeah, I guess it's okay. It's like, well, wait, what did you say? And, and, there, and, there, and there's, <laughs> like, I mean, know, there's like, something like, like hanging so off the if, phone. If he tells you, like, if you say okay then and then he does it, then that's yeah. gone on. That's gone on you yeah. at all. Like, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's still a question. Oh, it's, it's still oh, it's a gnarly oh, question. Oh, it's for, oh, it's hella freaky. It's yeah, fucking weird it's as shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a weird thing. But also, say what no. did uh, what did uh, Chappelle say? He was like, "If that made you stop wanting to be a comedian, then yeah. you're a brittle fucking person." Yeah, exactly. You have like, a if, if you if your dream of being comedian was stopped. By a red ginger jerking off to you over the phone, yeah. then you didn't really want to be a fucking comedian. Yeah. You know, it's like I almost apply that to like everything. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna like deal with some weird shit and be like, "Did you really want to be a comic book artist?" Yeah, people <laughs> fucking brittle. Dude. You know. Hey, yo, look, I, I have a an out of context preview of the of the animation I'm doing for for Red Valkyrie, but it's not gonna show anything on the story, so. I'm sharing the screen right now. Can you see this? Yes. Okay, let me just hit play. Let me hit play. What? Look at that. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... Nice. So, right, guys. And I have another scene to show. But the thing is, like, uh, I'm not really doing effects yet. I'm just, like, con concentrating on animation. Right. So, let me see. See. Mm -hmm. Ten. Well, but you're doing like you're doing a lot of all your like smoke and electric effects, like yeah, you're all hand keyframing those. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, man. it looks good. Wow, I'm um, dude. you know, Pedro. I'm hoping. Uh, are you going? Ooh. You're gonna go check out Frigga June later, right? Of course, yeah. Okay, I'm hoping that Rob will come on tonight. He said, oh, nice. "Do I think Kelsey Shannon might be coming on tonight?" Yeah, that'd oh, be cool. That would be awesome. It'd be cool if Rob was in there too. You know? Yeah. 
Yeah, dude. So Arnold. Yeah. Huh? But this is what I got so far. Guys. I'm messing with. You. I'm messing yeah. with you, Will. Arnold. Hey, and I did watch what you asked me to watch, Billy. Thank you. Like that is that is some smooth. What did there. what did I ask you to watch? I really like the uh, the hand opening up and the, uh, the oh yeah swirling around. He wanted you to that watch was, that, that, that video where the dude tries to shove the jar up his butt and it breaks. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's wait, the wait. Side of the no, what? No, what did I ask you to? Seriously, what the, 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 what? I forgot. You asked me to watch that Nasser thing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no, I, I told you just I was making you aware of it, and I said that you may want to watch it. I didn't say you should. Yeah. I don't. Re- I don't. I don't. Requ- I don't. Re- I don't recommend Willis? anyone watch the Nasser show. It's kind of boring. Well, it is, <laughs> but I. But at least I, oh, I got yeah. the. Um, he kind of let the, let the cat out of the bag there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, whatever. We roll with it. Yeah. I don't know. Like I, I really ha- haven't had any contact with Nasser. Uh, I, I, I had a hard time. I just don't don't trust him. Like, I had a hard time getting to the first him. ten minutes because it's like there was so much shtick. I'm like so much shtick. Stop it. Well, but but he's like a, he's a, he's like a young kid, right? I don't know, but they were like no, just. He's he's, he's a muppet. Something. He's he's twenty two, okay. twenty three. Yeah, like, you know, twenty two, twenty three. He's, 22, like, oh, 23, he's a baby. Mm-hmm. A baby. Again, um, uh, I want to announce this because it's immensely generous. Thank you again, Mister Matt Barr, for gifting me such wonderful things. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. And I saw you you signed up for uh, for Goblin Girl, yeah. Yes, sir. So if anybody can see, this is the generous thing that Mr. Barr gave me. Oh, so that's so damn cool. Here, let me make that large. That's going in a frame. That's that's sexy. That that's so awesome. Yeah, dude, um, I sent it to you. Just don't put a black light on it. And then, oh, thank mm. you. And then he also included a bonus. Like sweet. Oh, oh damn. cool. For timber alone, it's worth it. Dude, that timber looks ridiculously effed in the A. It's so horrible. <laughs> I, I love was it. hoping I... you would burn it. I was hoping you had a bird you could use that as the lining of the cage. Do you know that that Matt Barr actually touched this? <laughs> smell you just smell like weed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> smell like weed. Because <laughs> it should. <laughs> uh, I'm sure my sister could detect exactly what strength. Hmm. You know, if I would put her in my sister's nose, she'd like. So, but thank you again, Matt. Uh, And I did sign up, and I sent you a screenshot. I don't know if I made it in. Uh, You did. You did. Yes. Yeah, man. Like I don't know what's going on. Just, just, just my, just my peoples are signing up and sending me shots. So they're the ones that are gonna get it. You know, Luke signed up. You're gonna get it. It's like fuck it. You know. I like the sound of that. I'm gonna get it. You gotta get it. You gotta get it. Oh, you gotta fucking get it. (laughs) Spit on the tip and give it right to you. (laughs) I'm talking about the shipping because it like it's easier to get into the envelope if the you sick. That was the thing I thought was kind of fucked up. Look at this. Look what I found in my boxes of boxes. This is a uh, an ash can from. Hero Magazine Premiere number eight, and it is like Batman, Dark Joker, The Wild. That's a cool cover, though. Yeah, it's very small. My hands aren't this big. This is like a small comic book. Oh, I thought you you were a giant. Like here is oh, okay. here's a regular size comic book, and that's how big this ash can is. Oh, it's, okay. it's just black and white artwork. And it's of like a like Batman. Oh, Kelly Jones did it. Yeah, it's like a Batman monster. Uh-huh. You know where he's like he's like a werewolf. Oh, nice. They seem to pick Kelly Jones for that kind of work all the oh, time. Yeah, Kelly Jones is built for that kind of work, man. Are you kidding me? He did Red Rain, right? Yeah. And he's the one that did Red Rain. Yes. He's also the one that finished uh, the Steve Niles, uh, Bernie Wrights and Frankenstein book that they were working on. Yeah, you know, he was handpicked by Bernie to to finish it. And by the way, like Matt didn't just ship me like a tube from United States Postal Service. This fucking guy like rolled it and put it in a box and took it to UPS. 
and a UPS guy actually brought it to me. So mm. <laughs> like, he didn't like spare an expense shipping the stuff. You know what I mean? Nice. So thank you again. Yeah, me. I actually got something mailed. Out. I figured he would just throw it in a tube and say, "Here you go," right? Yeah. That's what I, I mean, usually I, do: is just shove it in a tube and say, "Here you go." <laughs> Preferably with socks. That's how most people go about it. And it, you know, he also included this, which was pretty cool. This little print. Huh. Yeah. Screen printed. Yeah. See that? See that, guys? You get that as well. And Jason, Jason got the got the uh, zombie Batman, that beautiful zombie Batman. Yeah, people should be signing up for Goblin Girl and taking Matt up on his offer. It's, I, like, I have no idea. I'm, I got I'm just gonna left. say, I, I was I, I was gonna say I was a little upset how cheaply that person yeah, got so, your so was orangutan I. for. Like when I saw that orangutan go for that amount, I was like, I was, yeah, I thought it was I thought it would be more. I yeah. thought I would get a little bit more because I was watching the uh, I was watching the streams earlier, and I was super excited for people making a lot of money earlier. But I guess I don't know. I don't know what happened. Man, Who's got their radio kids? on? Yeah, exactly. It's uh, it's uh, somebody's listening to Charlie's London. Oh, I mean, no. Billy, Billy. Billy. I saw yeah. Billy's hand click clicking. He was doing something. Yeah, Billy so Watson. So usually those double options, streaming. Usually those uh, options. Who ash can I got today? Billy. Uh, That's Billy Luke, dope. I have a question. Wow. Usually those auctions have like a like like for example, last one was Rob Willis, right? With the it came out on Wednesday cover. Who was the star? Like the biggest item of this one. The highest well, ticket weird. item. Well, it was weird because it's like they do theirs like for like an all day period. Right. So it was like it started at like 6 a.m. and like ended at like 8 p.m. So as far as you saw, who had the highest ticket item like that went? Shelby Robertson. But like it wasn't one thing, though, because yeah, it was he like, you like a thousand things. Yeah. Like because yeah. he was just like it, 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 he well, like did one thing that. and it got up to like a hundred bucks. He's like, I'll throw this in. And then someone's like, I'll play 150. And he's like, OK, well, I'll throw three yeah, things. He's just in. going through his shit. And he's like, <laughs> and all, of, all of a sudden he was basically just like holding up two handful pieces of art and they're like 470 you know and he's just like all right there you go he's like here's like, the deeds in my house like, you know here's my here's my yeah. the baby pictures here's my booties so you know what i mean that like, was yeah. that was the most i saw so, but so, so it wasn't one piece of art you know he right. was uh, yeah, it was i mean was, uh, was doing packs of stuff an amalgam thing yeah well, how, well yeah. what did jason sell he wasn't very specific I, he sold a bunch of the stuff that he did on uh, on Lola's, like the the sketches that he's been posting, like when he he did Lola. He did he sold them all together at once, like the snake uh, eyes and all those. Uh, he sold <laughs> yes, he sold the snake eyes and the Moon Knight, I think, together. Uh, Moon Knight's oh, a good one. He started out with the snake eyes and then added the Moon Knight afterwards. Yeah, Moon Knight's a good one. Man, I saw somebody post a picture of a Moon Knight like Marvel Legends Moon Knight action figure. Oh yeah. my god. I almost you know, want to buy that fucking piece of plastic. Did you, uh, Matt? Did you sell your Moon Knight? Yeah, I did. Okay, I so did. you sold. Yeah, I I went smart and I, I separated the orangutan. I did the sketch. I was going to do the sketch and the painting together, but um, when I separated it, it was a good idea because I ended up getting like like I said, bucks I'd... for the a hundred dollars for that for that Moon Knight. And that original orangutan sketch. That's criminal. Mm. Um, yeah. It went to a cool person. It went to a frequency girl. So there's like. Oh, right on. I, I think there's that. Not like I think a sense that, uh, of like, oh, fuck. You know, it's yeah. like. It went, it, it, it's finding good homes. I think it was, I think oh, it yeah, was yeah, time, I think it was time slot too, honestly. I think that was a part of it. Like, I think all the. T- I think having an auction that runs all day like that can be taxing, and like yeah. depending on where your time slot is. Holy shit, that's crazy! Is this what Matt is talking about? I got this back in like 1998. Oh, okay. No, this is this is this is not what what Matt was talking about. This is I sent away from oh, this. Oh Lord, this Toy is Biz, fucking sad <laughs> shit bag, fucking Whoa. company. Ah. Fuck you, Toy Biz. Yeah, I fucking but, hate you. Dude, oh my God. You, know, I, you know how long I had to wait for this fucking thing? I had to wait like six, eight weeks. It felt like, you know, three, dude, four that's months. that's a collector's edition? Jesus, H. 
Well, I mean, dude, this was the send away, you know? I think they made, like, you know, 2,000 of these or something like that. Probably, like, three of them. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I saw it in some magazine, and I ordered it, and it showed up, and... Look at... Look at... Look at the... Look at that weird art. Why does he have, like, that front doo-wop thing on his, on his mask? See yeah. his mask? It's oh. like, it's not the front of it, that, like, hook thing. It's <laughs> oh, not, it's like... like a beak. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, hanging <laughs> off the top of his hat. You know, like, and he's, he's, uh... He's missing the most iconic thing, which is the the Moon Knight belt. Well, he yeah. has it right there. Yeah, but that's not like, eh, you know. Yeah, it's like a wrestling belt. It's, it's a lucha libre. Dude, I would, yeah, I would lucha have, lucha. like, I wouldn't have been surprised if that said like, you know, Moon Detective, and like the <laughs> was in like Spanish and shit. Yeah, you know they I mean? got it. I've, I've never seen this anywhere else before. Senor like, Luna, 1997. I've Senor never, never Luna. seen it anywhere else. Yeah. So, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if this was they probably, you know what, Luke, weird they, ass he, knockoff. Matt's probably right. He probably, they probably sent somebody out of TJ and just bought a bunch of those knockoffs and just, like, repackaged yeah. them. Yep, <laughs> they had, had professional package design. Like, all right, yep, we'll send this out. I mean, look, if you look, the sticker's not even on straight here. Dude, so, Toy I mean, Biz, yeah, I, I, dude, there's <laughs> nothing good about Toy Biz. Hey, Luke, this ever. came in the mail today for me. Yeah, that looks like it was made in Peru, Luke. Sorry. Nice. Oh, a Johnny yeah. Phantasm action Watch the figure. difference. With the Watch dice. the difference, yeah. With the dice, yeah. Sorry, the, the player dice. is bad. The Yoni Phantasm. Yeah. Uh, 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 Juanito Phantasma. <laughs> Juanito Phantasma. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my glare is just horrible. Sorry. Yeah, but yeah, yeah my Johnny Phantasm came in. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah, it is. Oh, there it goes. Bam. Yeah. PTP Johnny Phantasm. You have to come with the, with the Latino version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Juanito Spectro, yeah, just, Juanito. Yeah. Juanito Spectro. Did that just like stick to your wall? Do you have like Velcro as a wallpaper? Like, what are you doing? No, there's a. I put a. There's a pin there. Uh oh, <laughs> it's a Velcro wall. <laughs> it's a Velcro wall. Well, it's really cool too. He packaged these in like these pop open plastic blister packs, so mm. you can take them out and still fuck with the figure and then put them back in so you don't ruin the oh. packaging. It's nice. It's like, That's cool. And I think even... Uh, yeah, it's got the little paper card in there. And then oh, sweet. The figure with his little extra head and his hat and his, <laughs> his guns gun. and shit. Yeah, his guns and whatnot. Where did Luke go? All right, see his little finger. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there he is. Okay. There he is. We just don't know where Matt is. I'm right here. Oh. I'm, over, I'm just over here working. That, that, that space is reserved for Frigga June. Mm. I can't wait to see, like, the sniper action figures. Those look dope. And the rascal. Oh, yeah, dude. And the, ra and the rascal. With with except with accessories, mm. yeah. dude. But the mobility so, range of the rest so well, so well, of so fucking gotta be insane. Rock and roll ninja figures, dude. Dude, the original, yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> real. You read my mind, Billy. So will will uh, will Bubble and Spot come together in a pack since they're the kids? And they're Maybe. smaller. Maybe. Yeah. I ain't telling. Well, oh, shit, that Moon Knight figure is worth at least 35 bucks. 35 bucks. I can't right wait to connector. get my my Rock and Roll Ninja Colonel figure uh, and make him, like, oh, grizzled. Ah, 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 I'm grumpy about stuff. I would love to do, I would love to do a series of 12-inch figures so that you could do their Rock and Roll attire and then their Mission attire so that the oh, Colonel damn. could have, like, two heads, five hands... Uh, you could have him in like his suit, his like white, like eighty style Miami Vice suit, or you could have him in his fucking ninja get up. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that'd be hideous. That'll be rad, man. <laughs> fucking mad, Damn dude. straight, dude. <laughs> I start leaking when I start thinking about that shit. Dude, rock and roll ninja, like full on Migos, like. Oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> I would want like hot, like hot toys, or like you know. Well, I mean, like actual mm. fabric clothing and shit. Yeah, you know, with all the different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah. But these are gonna be like you know, two hundred dollar like figures. You know what I mean? Where like the little pouches, and I want them to have like little swords. 
but I want them to come out like grayscale, you know, like those triple A figures. You know? <laughs> nice. There's no, there's no color to them. That should be right. Oh. They just, just grayscale that. That'd be, that'd be awesome. I saw some um, Walking Dead figures that came out that were like grayscale, and I was like, yeah, oh, the that's dope. Ones? Yeah. That's like I'll cool. swipe that motherfucking idea right there. <clears throat> So you really? guys put your uh, your requests in. Oh, yes, I did. To... I'll never win, but I did. I mean, back when Kevin Smith was yeah. cool, didn't they have Jay and Silent Bob black and white figures and <laughs> color Smith figures? Was cool. He never yeah. was cool, Billy. Oh, yeah, he was. No, he wasn't. He was cool. Like, he was on. never. He had that stupid ass like like fucking what do you call it? Woody Allen self deprecating nonsense. It's like, come on, man. Don't do that. Whatever, I like man. I I like like the ori- I like the original like four New Jersey like whatever you call it uh, movies, movies but, uh, his New Jersey verse universe whatever yeah universe yeah the view universe the view universe yeah there you go yeah what was that movie that they made that they produced about the clown um bad taste that was that was mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Where like the David O'Halloran, the guy that played Dante, gets like raped or something by a bunch of yeah. like redneck dudes. All right, guys. Um, kind of it's like uh, ten minutes before probably Frag is gonna start. I actually need to restart my computer. Like, oh, no, it, no, I no, usually no. have issues trying to stream and draw. So get your ass um, to Mars, animal man. Yeah. All right, good to see everybody. Goodbye, I Billy. will hopefully see everybody in a bit. <laughs> it's good yeah, to man. see you again. Yeah. Good to see you oh, two again, okay. William. See you shortly, brother. Cheers, Billy. William. All right. See you guys. See ya. Hello, Clarice. It's good to see you again. Hello, Clarice. Man, I watched Red Dragon today. That shit was yeah. still That's so cool. solid. Which, uh, yeah, Red Dragon. Okay. That's the one with Ray hmm. Mine. Yeah. Actually, Ray Mine, yeah. yeah, I like that one. Uh, have you guys ever seen, uh, what is it, Manhunt? Yes. Manhunter. Manhunter, thank you. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Man, the Michael, the Michael Brian Mann Cox. one. Yeah, my, Brian Cox does a fantastic job as yep. an elector. Yeah. Like, he's yeah. chilling, man. Yeah. Your mighty tan will. Huh? Your mighty tan will. Where have you been spending your time? And you have rough hands. Uh, oh, Would you like me to leave your home phone number? And he did yeah, that slick you know, move, remember? The Cox guy? What's his, what's his name? Brian Cox. Brian Cox, Brian Cox, he like he plays it creepy, but he like plays it more like, more realistic. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah. like like Anthony Hopkins is just like fucking overboy. Like I'm watching, I'm going, what a fucking weirdo! Like it's a little theatric. Yeah, yeah, it's like super theatrical compared to to uh, very the the original one. Yeah, very. When I say well, original, one, you know the the Manhunter one. Yeah, the Manhunter. They kind of like make you want more of him. You know, because you only see him in two scenes, right? And yeah. You see him in two scenes, and they milk it, and you're like, hey, I want to go back to that guy. You know, who's that guy, yeah. right? And he kind of understates it, but lets the lets the Will Graham character kind of tell you how bad he is. Remember? Yeah. Where he kind of well, describes what he did. Correctly, that's kind of how the book is, too. Yeah. Right? Because mm-hmm. he can't do it. Forever since I've read it, but yeah. Red Dragon is the best one of all of them. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's what I've always heard. I haven't read it. I, uh, yeah, the thing is, like, si- Silence of the Lambs was really good, but it was more like setting up the world. Yeah. But Red Dragon was more like in depth. Like, okay, it was, it was better paced, I think. And the end of Red Dragon is brutal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you remember yeah. how he uh, he had ambushes him on the beach and like mm-hmm. like stabs Will in the face. Remember, and, like pins Jeez. him to the uh, ground. Remember? Yeah. It goes through his jaw and like sticks him to the ground. Like it's pretty Oof. brutal in the book. Like yeah. when he comes after them at the end. Yeah, how, how can you forget that? And because uh, in the book, if I remember correctly, Will Graham goes crazy and he's like in the nut house somewhere, like mm-hmm. drinking himself stupid. You know, yeah, essentially, yeah. like that traumatized him to a degree where he can't like function anymore. Um, but yeah, man, those were those were good ones. Uh, the Manhunter in particular has a style that is very Michael Mann. You know, mm-hmm. it's yeah. very much a Michael Mann movie. Yeah, which is fine by me because I'm a big Michael Mann fan. Yeah, I like Michael Mann a lot. Yeah, I mean, one in particular, Matt, that's your favorite. Um, I like uh, honestly, I like Heat a lot, but I I like Last of the Mohicans. Oh yeah, like <laughs> Last of the Mohicans. Awesome. That's, that's my Last favorite Mohicans. soundtrack of all time. Man. Yeah, that might be like my like favorite movie. Like 
like top three movies. Like I'm not like not even talking about genres, blah blah blah. No, like just regarding movies, genre, huh? motherfucking yeah, all all time. Like I could watch Last Mohican over and over and over. Yeah, dude. Um, it's just it's just it's it just Michael played beautiful to look at as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's got everything. It's got love story. It's got some action. It's got some tragedy. Bad it's got some like freak, freaking Magua, man. That yeah, Magua was great. Yeah, that oh, he's a gnarly was scary, anyway. man. Shakar like, uh, vous you know? Yeah, Shakar Sevou. Ah, French father. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh. I, I like the little move that the the Frenchman, the, the French general made, where it's like, well, I can't do anything to him because I'm bound by honor. But if you wanted to. Go yeah, right ahead. I like what the the back. almost Im, Im, implement of like a martial arts with the tomahawks and shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't you know, know what, what those are It's like I don't know what it's called either. But like I've never heard about it, and nobody's ever mentioned it. But it's like you kind of yeah, see it in this movie where you're like, yo, yeah, these the motherfuckers whole... had a martial arts. Like they fucking sat around like practicing, especially at the end. The you whole action knife when they're thing. Fighting him. Yeah, the knife yeah. fight with the tomahawk. Like I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, that's well, like trained his, uh, movements. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, he busts his elbow. It was, yeah, it went, yeah, with elbow, shoulder, and then like, and then the in dad the middle shows of the back. up, yeah. and the dad shows up and is like, "I have a black belt, motherfucker," and just like mm-hmm. breaks the dude down. So it's like, yeah, dude. I, I just love that movie. I love that movie. Just give me a tomahawk. Just a tomahawk right? movie. The Patriot. <laughs> Yep. Last yeah. Last weekend, I just give just give me a fucking tomahawk. My <laughs> the Patriots, my favorite one is when he ambushes the column there, and he does oh it with his children. God. Yeah, dude. Jesus. Ah! <laughs> Gets him a discharge, <laughs> so he can rush yeah, him. Dude. Me too. Uh, I love Rob Roy. He yeah. was raping oh Rob Roy, man. God, dude. Yeah, like, yeah. so, but you know, you know what? What I didn't like about Rob Roy that the the broadsword uh, fighting style. Uh, had nothing to do with how it really looked like. Because, I mean, they were just brutes with that broadsword. The, the broadsword art with Sword and Dirk, it's very elegant. It, it wasn't shown. They they showed the Scots as brutes, and that's yeah. that's not what it is. That's the only but Rob Roy was amazing. I mean, Tim Roth did an excellent villain. Oh, my God. He was oh, gnarly, yeah. dude. Tim Roth is yeah. Nice. He's fucking great, man. Yeah, dude. You know, I like like I love history stuff. You know, I'm a, I'm mm-hmm. a huge history buff, and I, I'm yeah. like really interested in the whole like dueling concept. Mm-hmm. You know, where it was like you could be a total cad, you could be a total dickhead, but if you knew how to handle your sword, like you were Dude, like, have, almost untouchable. You know, have you seen the duelist? Yeah, the that's a good one. Yeah, have you seen the duelist with Harvey, Harvey Keitel? You goddamn right, I have. Dude, really that good. movie. Oh. oh. I keep telling my wife I'm gonna grow my hair out like Harvey Keitel did. Yeah, I do the braid with the braids the break. on the side, yeah. dude. Ooh. Well, speaking of that one, have you ever seen uh, Barry Lyndon? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a big Barry Lyndon fan. I love period pieces, dude. I love like yeah, like slice of life period pieces. Mm-hmm. Oh, especially the battles in that one. Commander. Well, I don't know. Oh, the yeah. Master and Com- oh, yeah. My oh, Master and Commander is really good, but there's a there's a movie. The things like I saw it in French, so I don't know. Called like the Queen uh, La, uh, La Reina Margot, the Queen Margot, which is like the the fourth sister of Louis the the fifth. So she she was uh, promised to the King of Navarre, and Navarre is the size of a of a hood. But she is in France when the the French crown killed all the Protestants, the the Huguenots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Huguenots. Yeah. So, yeah, but that movie is gnarly. Gnarly, was I'm this never... where they started just dragging the the um, dragging the people out into the streets and killing them? The yeah, Protestants. Yeah, with the, and that, and I saw like for the first time in a movie how a pipeline functions. Dude, that oh, was scary. Line. Okay. Yeah, that oh, was what? scary. A pipe pipe line. Line. Pipeline. You know, spears. Oh spears. yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They yeah, just yeah. come running and they don't stop and people just. I mean, they just need to find a wall and everybody's dead. Yeah, they just mow you down. They just crush yeah, you. Dude. Whoa. But dude, that that was just horrible. And I mean, the movie's amazing. And it was that with that guy who played the crow after uh, Brandon Lee, like mm-hmm. Vincent Perez. Yeah, he's the protagonist. He's like a mercenary, and uh, um, he's basically like the, the the queen's love interest. Dude, this is a great movie, man. If you can find it, all right, 
really, yes, really and, good. and Gangs of New York is a jam mainly for Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah. Oh my God, oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> talk okay. about a, talk about a guy. I, I find the movie to be near perfect. The only problem I have is that there's fucking rock and roll music in the beginning. Yeah. The fight, and there's never rock and roll music and ever again. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of <laughs> on in it. Very, that, uh, it's very fucking weird. It was like yeah. it starts off with like that, like tribal music, mm-hmm. you know. Which I'm like, okay, this is cool. You're showing me time, you know. You're showing it was me timeless. like period piece, like period. Mm-hmm. But then all of a sudden, it was like, wow, chick a wow, and it was like showing slow. I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> and then it, and that, then it goes back. And it never ha- it totally takes me out every time yeah. I watch the movie. Mm-hmm. Like I have to like sit here and go, okay, I'm gonna accept. This five minutes <laughs> of like dog shit. I don't even remember. It was really uh, dope, man. When he's going through that crowd, just fucking chopping people and stabbing yeah, them, dude. dude. It was like, oh my god, dude. No, dude you, know, you know what I really like about about that fight scene? Mm. That he has like this cross coming out. So like, oh, he's gonna let go out, and it's a bludgeoning weapon. Yeah, I like yeah. that the priest has a fucking club that's shaped yeah, like dude. a cross, dude. That is mm-hmm, so. Yeah. I love I love scenes of like that, like like it was so vampire stylized. movies. Yeah. I don't know if you ever seen, you know, have you ever seen them? Um, I'm like, not switching, but I'm switching up a little bit. Have you seen that that vampire movie? It's like Captain Kronos. Yes. Um, they, where they, yeah, where they like take the fucking like piece of metal cross off movie. of the thing. Mm. They like it's like part of like a a tombstone or something, and they like hmm. pull it off of the the cross and they like hammer it into a fucking sword and shit. It was like, that's cool. Yeah, you know, like sounds cool. What's it also? Captain uh, Kronos Vampire Hunter. Yeah, Captain Kronos. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. It's a it's a Hammer movie. movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. this dude oh, okay. is just like he's just this badass dude, just going around like fucking taking care of vampires and like he has like a this humpback guy who's like helping him sh- with shit. Right, he's like sitting there like in a trance, like fucking blade, like getting ready to fucking fight. While this dude is like sharpening up this fucking cross oh, sword, this is a it's so movie. dope. Yep. Yeah, dude. It's I think fantastic. we all. I think you also forget the dialogue in Gaze of New York, like the shit talking that he would do about the Irish. Like, which part oh, of that yeah. extra excre- excrementitious <laughs> isle do your forebears spawn from? <laughs> Carry. Yeah, he was. He was not kind. He's like on the seventh day, God squatted over the side of England, and what came out of him. Was Ireland? <laughs> oh, dude, I saw this movie. Yeah, Chiseler. Maybe Yeah, a Chiseler. They're going. They're going with Chiseler. Isn't that like Chisla. goals, basically? Yellow. Yellow. You're the fin- oh. Finland men. You're the Finland men. Par- pardon my. Pardon my yeah. He used to be an Irishman. Yeah. <laughs> you he leave almost, those ears alone, Bill. You almost <laughs> fish hooked my groin. Yeah. Mighty my groin. Almost fish hook, fish hook by a sprat. Yeah, that's a great movie. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, what do you say? A, um, you are lukewarm, and so I spit you out. I'll a succession of town. horrendous acts. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That man steals from me, I cut his hand off. Man lies to me, I cut his tongue out. Jeez. You know, a succession of horrendous acts. Something like that. It was a great line. It was when he had that great scene where he had the American flag draped around him, and he just killed <laughs> In the rocking chair, talking to him. Yeah, yeah, where he's like, I couldn't look at him, so I fucking scooped out the eye that that I like was shamed. Yeah, he did that kind of gesture. Like what? Yeah, with that yeah, his they, thumb. They, they, he was like, they they took that out of Al, uh, Alan Poe, uh, the Tale of the Heart. Like he went crazy because of the the, the old man's eye. I don't yeah, like it was when the I eye or the fucking the clock. It wasn't his yeah. like his watch that was ticking. Yeah, no. First of all, it was the milky eye. Oh, like, it was like a glass eye. Wait, it was like a chip like eye, glass eye. Yeah, hey, gentlemen, Frank is on. So I'm gonna hop over Frank there. Frank is on. Yep. So we'll right. wrap this. See up you guys over there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. See you guys. Right. We gonna take off. Peace, Peace out. out.